mentioned it's been tuned. Yeah, it has been tuned. Okay. Um, yeah. So obviously, it feels faster than a stock B16, and, and, yeah. and it's quick, man. It sounds so nice. I really like the way it sounds, dude. Alright everyone, welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today we have Chris. Chris, thank you so much man for making the time for us. Oh, Definitely no appreciate it. Oh man, it's gonna be a treat for us, man. <laughs> what do you drive? Uh, I drive a 1991 Honda CRX, a DX model. The DX model? Yeah. Oh man. It's the base model. Oh man. Is it lighter? Uh yeah, because due to not having the sunroof. Mm -hmm. It's like 80 pounds, right? I think that's I believe stuff. so, something yeah, like that. Heavy. I've never actually weighed one, but I know it's around there. Yeah. So I mean, now it's probably it weighs like 800 pounds. These things are light. Nah, I don't want. I don't want to say 800. Maybe like <laughs> around the 2000s. <laughs> I've never weighed it, so I don't well, know. Nah, these things are light, yeah, man. They are. Scary light. They are. Well, before we start talking about this beautiful build, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Like, when do you remember thinking like, yeah, I, I like cars and cars are my thing? Uh, a long time ago, man. I say about when I was in middle school. So, okay. Uh, my brother-in-law and his brother, they both had hatchbacks. One had a 94 EG, and then the other oh. one had a 91 uh, EF, uh, SI. Oh, nice. And uh, always growing up, seeing them build their cars, mm -hmm. they eventually got stolen. It sucks. Oh, that both was during, of them? Yeah, dude, that oh, was that during sucks. that time. Yeah. Was, uh, early 2000s, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, and then after that, that's when I knew. I was like, God, I like those cars, man. I want to get one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, come around high school, I never, uh, never really got a car. Uh, and then after high school, I finally got one. And which was what? Uh, <laughs> I hate to say it. Don't the don't CV, hate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Man, that's right. So you started with good taste. No, no. Somewhere along the lines, you went down this <laughs> ugliness. We won't get into. But, so so CB. Yeah. And I mean, you got it for dirt cheap, right? Yeah, five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. Was that a sedan, coupe? Uh, it was a coupe, two door. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Okay. Automatic, yeah. I'm assuming. Uh, yes, it was yeah. automatic. Okay. And how long did you have that car for? Had it for about, I want to say, a good year. Did you uh, do anything to it? No, it was okay. full bone stock. The, oh. the, it really hurts because I got rid of it. The interior was flawless on that car, too. Shoot. Yeah, it was flawless. Um, it had transmission problems. I mm -hmm. never had the funds to really get around to fix it. Mm -hmm. So I ended up just letting it go, man, and I sent it to the junkyard. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that hurts, dude. Sorry. <laughs> that hurts. Damn it. <laughs> nah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I, I, I kick myself in the butt sometimes for uh, you know getting rid of it because it was a good car. I mean, it had yeah. low mileage too. It only had 160,000 miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's still kind of low. Uh, for an Accord, yeah, you know, dude, it's just yeah. probably like the first oil changes do, yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get rid of that and then you start kind of like, I need a car, what comes next? Uh, I got a 1991 uh, Honda Civic sedan. Okay, so that's where we go. That's where the story starts yeah, dipping dude. down, okay. It gets better though. It what? was clapped out. <laughs> It was clapped out. Yeah, okay, so where did you pick that one up? Uh, Redlands, California. Now, were you specifically looking for EF sedan or did I just kind of yes, grab your I attention? Yes, I was actually, I was. Mm. Um, I just had got a new job and I barely had a little bit of money in my pocket and I was like, I need a car to give back and forth to work. Mm -hmm. uh, I was searching offer up, found one for $1,000. No, back when yeah. they were $1,000? Yeah, dude, $1,000. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I mean, it, it was clapped out, it was all it was primered, everything, it was slammed, cambered out. And I was like, you know what? It's commuter you know mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I started fixing it up after that uh, put some rims changed all the fenders everything because it was beat up they they rolled them horrible mm -hmm. and they cut them well, yeah yeah phone yeah because they we know how those do the yeah the ground. it was scraping <laughs> when I picked it up man well yeah, yeah. Dude, they look great slam uh, I know they, that's not your thing they right? do no no I don't like them slammed they oh, do they look, look great, great though, man but if you do it right if you do gotta it right. do it right I Were mean, there sparks and everything? Yeah, dude, it was it was scraping. I could put it this way: I couldn't even go over the reflectors in the road without breaking them. Oh, those are my type of favorite stand stack <laughs> cowards. I love that, dude. Dude, a boxiness dude. slam yeah, like it looks not? so good. Yeah. So, okay. So that you picked that one up. Yeah. And so you still have that one? I still have it to wow. this day, bro. It's uh, sitting at my mom's house. Uh, I tore it all down to a shell, and I'm gonna rebuild it. Dope. Yeah, okay. So I got big plans for that car. Love that, dude. How do we introduce to this little bucket right here? Okay, so uh, fast forward to about, I wanna say two years after I got the sedan. Um, I started modifying the sedan prior to that. And then uh, I pulled the motor and I was like, dude, I need another daily driver to get back and forth to work. Yeah, daily driver for the daily driver. Yeah, for the daily driver. Gotcha, so makes sense. Went back on offer up and I found this. 
Again, would you looking for a CRX? Uh, no, I was just uh, looking for like a hatch, anything. It had to be an EF though. And okay. uh, I was just typing in everything, couldn't find nothing. And then one day at work on my lunch break, I just searched up CRX and this popped up. And it on looked, your lunch break. Yeah, hmm. dude. And it looked Weird. fairly de decent. So I was like, ah, you know what, I'm gonna go, go check it out. The guy wanted 1800 bucks for it. Where was this Redlands, right? This one I want to say, uh, I forgot exactly where. But it wasn't too far? Uh, towards LA. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he wanted 1800 Yeah, 1800 right? You're so, like, he ain't uh, getting 1800 <laughs> Well, no, I wanted to go check it out. It looked decent in the pictures that he took. So uh, I went to go check it out with my brother-in-law. And uh, it had a, had quite a bit of damage to it. You know, it was, well, it was trying to be taken care of, but not mm -hmm. really that great. So uh, I test drove it. After I checked Joey, I knew right away, nah, it's not worth 1800 <laughs> The thing that had me sold for the car was the interior. That's why I wanted the car. Ah, uh, okay. So I test drove the car. Um, it needed motor mount. It was, it was a rough ride. Mm -hmm. So I, I came back and I told the guy, I, I'll give you 13 for it right now. He's like, ah, oh, I can't do that. And, but he speaks Spanish, by the way, so that's why I had my brother-in-law. I kind of speak Spanish, but not a lot. I had my brother-in-law there uh, translating. And he's like, ah, oh, I can't do it. I was like, all right, then uh, I don't want to waste your time. I'm just going to leave then. So I started walking back to the car and his wife came out. You better fucking sell that oh, car. I <laughs> love that. Dude, so I'm getting in the car and he came out with the pigs of, hey, hey, I'll sell it to you. You're like, I don't speak Spanish, but she's yelling yeah, at him. <laughs> yeah, no, my brother was telling me. So oh. I was like, all right. Oh, no way. Yeah, dude, I was like, all right, uh, 1300 bucks and I got the car. You're like, thank you, senora. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so you pick it up. What was the vision for it? Uh, at first, nothing. To be honest, I was just going to daily drive it. And then... Mm. Uh, I want to say a week down down the line after picking it up, uh, it started giving me problems. <laughs> of course. So uh, first the tranny went out, uh, had a hole in the case, and then uh, fifth gear smoothed it out when I was driving home one night. <laughs> so smoothed it no out. More fifth gear. <laughs> so I had to rip the tranny out, put a new tranny in, and then it started burning oil and smoking like crazy. Mm. So it had a had a single cam uh, D16 Z6 in it. Hmm. So it was already uh, swapped uh, to multi-point conversion with the single cam VTEC in it. Um, it started smoking a lot. It was burning fucking oil bad. I was going through like almost two quarts a week, bro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was bad. It was horrible. People would be behind me like this because it smelled <laughs> so bad. That's so funny. So then I was like, you know what? This motor's done. Mm -hmm. uh, at first I thought it was just the head So because I, I thought the seals were leaking on the, mm -hmm. on the valve seals. So I uh, went and got a junkyard head from, I got a Y8 head. On the junkyard, then uh, I redid the whole head. Spent like 800 bucks to redo everything on the head. Uh, Slapped it on, it was the same issue, bro. Oh, that's so nice. I, that's when I found out hey, it was the rings. Mm. Uh, I didn't have the money at the time to redo the whole bottom end. So I was like, you know what? Just pull it out. It's cheaper to go B swap. <laughs> back then, right? Yeah, back then. I like how you like, somehow that makes sense in yeah, your head. Let's just yeah. do B swap. Yeah, why not? You know, like, a little bit more power. A little bit yeah. more, yeah. So I was like, all right, um, found a B swap on offer up again uh this guy got it uh he was in la uh he got it from a shipment container mm -hmm. uh it was in the crate i got to open the crate and everything only had sixty thousand miles on the motor Whoa. yeah yeah so um i uh wait wait back up before that i bought actually a swap before that from a guy for 1600 sorry i got a little ahead of myself uh the dude sold me the swap out of a zg for it b series yeah b series okay. the first b series i swapped into here uh he sold it to me or 1600 bucks complete swap axle mm -hmm. everything that was when i first went beach series on it and uh he let me test drive the car whatever um i test drive it was cool went back a week later to pick it up because he had to pull it out of his car picked it up i swapped it in the in my car that same week and i was driving the car then a rod knock oh yeah bro it was like so the guy fortunate. did it on purpose almost to me so uh i drove it like that with the rod knock for a little bit and then uh, one night I was just like, you know what? I got tired of it. Uh, this Accord kept, it was an Accord Sport. It kept messing with me on the freeway. So you know what? Ah, I just took off on him. Ron not got worse. And, and, the, and the engine yeah, took off too. End of the story for that engine. And so the Accord one still. Man, no? no, I was on okay, him. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was on him. Man, you, and then, uh, you hate Accords. Nah, nah, I, was, I was just more mad at the fact that the yeah, guy sold me that, that, that's super unfortunate. that bogus engine, mm -hmm. you know? So. Uh, so fast forward to what I did say, I met that guy on offer up in LA, got the another B16 uh, out of the crate with only 60,000 miles on it. And then my girlfriend actually helped me swap that into my car. Oh, yeah. keeper, yeah. yeah, dude. yeah. She's a keeper, that's what's up. 
So then that's what's in here, yeah. and that should be that's what's good in here for right a now. bit. Oh yeah, dude. Um, I redid all the seals, everything, all the all the um, gaskets, everything on that. Uh, did the timing belt, everything. Haven't had one hiccup on this motor. Love that, dude. So do the gloves make you a canjo razor? No, right? Nah, nah. I just do it for the for the for the suede. I don't want it to get all nasty from the. And that's the difference between the someone who takes care of their car yeah. and me. Because a dumb man, no. <laughs> just a complete idiot, which is like, oh, I'll just don't drive it without the gloves. <laughs> yeah, that's really smart. Yeah. To be honest, these are mechanic gloves. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I have some actual like, uh, Apex uh, racing gloves, but I like these. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's the car's so fast, I got my hair all up and stuff. Oh. <laughs> the front end um i'm sure it was like this when you first bought it right uh no it was not <laughs> um actually when i first bought it the only thing that's the same when i first bought it was the paint mm -hmm. um other than that i did everything else so the front end i have a carbon fiber uh, carbon trends hood beautiful uh, style beautiful man very nice and then uh for the lights are just stock uh i got the clear uh, bumper lights they're stanley and then I got the CS style eBay lip for it. Really nice lip. I, you don't suppose you know the color of the code or anything like that? Uh, I don't. That's mm. one thing I am trying to find out. But everywhere I've gone, I, I haven't got a hit. I mm -hmm. know it's a single stage paint. I, I, <laughs> closest, I like that. <laughs> the closest I could find to it is the Honda S2000 uh, CR edition, the Apex Blue. That's like ah. the closest I can get to it. And if I can't find mm -hmm. the color for that, once I get it painted, that's probably the paint I'm going to go for. So you will be sticking with this like bright blue? Yes, I like this blue. Yeah. I really like it too. Yeah, yeah, you don't see them that often. No. And then like the, the matching seat is, you know, makes it a nice oh, little yeah. pop up. So, okay, cool. Okay, tell us about your suspension pieces. What do you got going on? Uh, I have a function form type one, so suspension mm -hmm. all the way around. I got a uh, hard race uh, upper and lo lower control arms. I got hard race uh, camber in the rear, hard race uh, control arms in the rear, hard race toe. Um, that's about it. But do you want more? Oh my um, goodness, dude! That the whole thing has been you yeah. Know, restored. I redid all the bushings and everything mm -hmm. as well. Wow. So I'm sure it rides like a champ. It rides pretty smooth. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And then wheel and tire setup, man. Uh, 15 by 8 uh, plus 35 Advan R GT2s um, with the AO50, uh, AO52 uh, Advan Yokohama tires. Wow. Very, um, very nice setup for sure. Thank you, man. Man, love the stance on it. You, you said that your plan is to track it, right? Yeah, that's my goal. Okay. I want to build like a street to track car kind of. Mm hmm. No, it looks good, Something man. that you can still drive on the street that's not all gutted, that screams pull me over, but still able to oh my God. Take, it out on the, <laughs> take it out on the track, you know, and drive it for what it's built for. That screams pull me over. Yeah. Man. Well, speaking of screams pull me over, let's take a look in the back. <laughs> what do you got going on, man? Uh, so on the rear, I got the JDM uh, tail lights with the pop-out garnish, JDM garnish. Uh, I got the NVIDIA uh, cap back two and a half inch piping all the way through um two and a half yeah two and a half <laughs> yeah yep. cool well let's talk about the interior what do you got going on if you don't mind opening up the door for us chris beautiful so, uh, interior so man. the interior it's uh converted to the si interior si door cards uh, i got the edm cluster the nrg uh, quick release with the checkered sport uh um, Slim Boss uh, hub with the VTEC Club Grady steering wheel, collab steering wheel. Wow. 
uh, one buddy club uh, AP or P1 uh, bucket seat with the PCI uh, slider. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got a fast line shifter with the Chronicles uh, Battlecraft shift knob. Beautiful. And then the passenger seat is uh, reupholstered. I don't know who did it. The previous owner that I got the car from had got it done. Mm. So I'm taking that seat out as well because I got another buddy club because I want to preserve those seats. They're nice, man. I don't want them to get messed yes, up. It's hard yes. to find. A, the texture of the seats are very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find those seats not ripped. Yeah, I mean, and then I got a blocks harness bar with the rear strut bar. The strut bar, the strut tower bar is just eBay. Okay. Well, I mean, the whole interior was here, right? You mentioned. Uh, yeah. When I got the car, that's what actually sold me it's on the so car. It's so hard to find <laughs> interior. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There's not a crack on the dash. Nothing. Everything's there. Wow. The only part that I'm missing for the from the interior is the rear uh, center cargo cover piece. Hmm. And how many lighter. how many miles did it have when you when, uh, you first when I first got the car it was a uh, two hundred and thirty I believe. Wow, two thirty oh, with yeah. that clean of interior. Yeah, dude. I would love that, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, what are the future plans for the interior, man? Um, nothing. Just put the other buddy clips here. I'm gonna keep it all the same. Yes. I don't, I'm not yes. gonna put no roll cage. Nothing. Don't gut it. Yes, this is perfect. Yes. We'll see when you start tracking. You'll be like, oh. nah. I like the interior the way it is. <laughs> is uh, the sedan the more emotional, sentimental car? Uh, yeah, because it was my one of my first EFs mm -hmm. that I bought, and it's one of my favorite chassis that I like okay. of the EF yeah. chassis. I mean, I'm just wondering, if that one's kind of taken apart, you wouldn't want to go the track route with uh, that, that one? Uh, that was my initial my initial plan but then once uh, i had a kid you know and then i want because it has four doors i could cruise with the oh, family okay. and that so what i'm gonna do my vision with that car is just something slow and and, and yeah, low, okay. you know just a cruiser well it looks very fast from the inside Let, let's check out the the power let's see what we got going on let's see how the k looks in this car <laughs> i wish it was k <laughs> let's see Now people are getting mad because everything. Every time I say a K, they're like, "No, K <laughs> K K is not the way for everything." Wow, this is beautiful, man. Thank um, you. Tell us what are we starting at? Uh, so you're looking at a B16A SIR. Now, <clears throat> you have this B16. You have another B16 that yeah. you're building. Um, let's talk about this one. Is this one completely stock? Completely stock. It just has a bolt-on headers. And an intake, that's it. This is the one that came out 60,000 miles. Yeah. Now it has, what do you think, roughly? I probably put, I want to say, at least 10. That's okay. It. I don't drive the car. It sits in my garage. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to keep this as is. As is, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, This eventually this motor will come out and go on my sedan, and the fully built will go in here. Mm. Yeah, once once it comes out, I'm going to redo the bay and everything. Painting it blue as well? Uh, I might go black. I'm not sure oh, yet. Oh, nice. Okay. Just switching it up. Yeah. So as of now, what kind of transmission does it have? Uh, it has an LS, cable trans. Nice, okay. So the gear on the freeway are friendly? Yeah, it, it's it's cool. Okay. It gear's nice. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have one. Yeah. Now that, yeah, you, now that, that I smooth have it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is more than enough for this car as it is, no? Oh yeah, I mean mm -hmm. it gets it gets up and it goes. And it's been reliable, I am to say. Yeah, assume? yeah, it's okay. been reliable, really reliable. Well done, man. Thank you, man. I can only imagine when, you, when the build motor goes in, oh, dude. Yeah. This is plenty fast, I, I think. Oh, yeah. I understand the, the love for this chassis. <laughs> Alrighty, Chris, thank you so much, man, for making the time for us. Beautiful, beautiful EF. Um, it looks nice, it sounds nice. Um, I think for me, my biggest thing, my biggest joy is thank you for keeping these cars on the road. Oh, thank you. It for takes a special us, it, no, it takes a special person to do it. Uh, I know the EF community. I you know all BS aside, they're one of the best communities out there. They're very supportive, and they take pride as they should yeah. on keeping these cars on the road because the parts are getting harder to find. You know, oh, definitely um, right as you know, <laughs> and and so. Well, you, you're hoarding all the B16s in the world, so <laughs> <laughs> you're part of the problem. Have <laughs> you have three? Yeah. Uh, well, the other one is the rod knock one. It's oh, sitting there in the garage. <laughs> and looking for more, yeah. right? Um, so, so, so you know. You know the struggle. So thank you. Uh, they're amazing cars. Thank you for keeping them on the road. It definitely is uh, 
it's nice to see them, you know, out and about. So um, any shout outs, man. Uh, first off, I'd like to shout out you. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. I honestly was shocked when you asked me and my car to be on your Thank on you, your man. Channel, thank man. you. Thank you. No, it's, it's you guys, man. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, I'd like to shout out my brother-in-law and our team that we made, Freedom Runners. Um, and that's about it. That's it. You know, that's good, man. I mean, I'm sure you're forgetting a lot of people. Maybe yeah. not. I don't shout know. Shout out the whole community, too, bro. If it wasn't for them, these parts would be they're hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> that community, man. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Um, I don't know, man. I just get excited when I see an EF. It's, it's, it's a cool car. Obviously, they don't make them like that anymore. Boxing is, doesn't seem to be aerodynamic friendly. <laughs> who, would, who would have thought, right? But uh, they don't make them like that. That's the, that's yeah. the beautiful thing, that they're boxy. And, you know, they scream 80s, 90s, uh, you know, old school golden era. And so, I don't know, man. Uh, can't wait to see what you do when you swap in the other car. And can, and I hope you invite us back for the sedan. That'd be pretty oh, most cool. definitely I will. When it's okay. ready, I'll, 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 I'll be in contact with you. That's, that's what we wanted to hear, man. Well, thank you for your time once again. And again, thank you for keeping this car on the road, man. Thank you.